Hey, 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 it's Lori Alvarez. Good morning. Good love. Hello. How are you? What are you up to? How is your energy? I ask you that right now. I was thinking about that. I've been thinking a lot about energy, right? And thinking a lot about the things that are happening during this time and what makes best sense for me, right? Just I've been thinking about it, going over it, feeling like, hey, what's the deal? How am I doing? How are things turning out during COVID-19 and my time to be home, right? Home. For me, my fun, my life, my excitement is out and about doing things, not necessarily hanging out at home, right? And so I love that I still get to get out there and help people find, buy, and sell real estate in the midst of COVID-19 because it's really my only outing for the day right now because we have to stay home. We have to stay healthy. We have to stay clean. And as things are slowly reopening and people are going places, then we have to remember that we bring that energy, that dynamic back into our home. So I was doing a little reading. One of the things that I love to do is read. I'm a big reader. I read a variety of things. Um, and so I picked up my magazine, right? The latest one, latest and greatest shape magazine. It helps me stay motivated for when I don't want to work out. And I feel like I don't want to get up and don't want to do that thing. Have I ever felt that way? Gosh darn, before COVID-19, no way. I loved being at the gym. I loved getting up at 4 a.m., hustling to the gym, meeting my 5 a.m. instructor, doing my 5 a.m. workout, and then getting back to the gym at 6 p.m. in the evening to do my soul cycle workout. I loved, loved doing that. Like, oh, it was like my daily like routine. And then boom, COVID-19 hit, just like that. And the gyms went down one by one by one. And as they slowly reopen, they slowly come back. My energy has shifted over the last 90 days or so. My habits, the dynamics that I'm feeling in my home have shifted. Have you experienced that? Are you having a challenge with that at all? Or is it just me? I'm going to say it's just me. And everyone has a different experience, right? So here's the deal, right? First and foremost, I went through this like morning time. I was like, oh my gosh, I'm so sad. My gym is gone. I don't know what to do. I don't know how to do this. I just can't do this, right? So I was bummed and my husband was bummed and the kids were bummed. We were all bummed in the house, right? So imagine that the energy I had was being experienced in the entire home. That energy was being felt by everyone else in my home. I didn't even notice it. I wasn't even aware of it because I was so self-consumed with how I felt, right? And it showed, right? It showed up physically on me. I started eating poorly. I started sleeping in, staying up later, doing the things that aren't the best for me for optimal performance, for who I want to be. And thankfully, I posted last week, if you're following me on Facebook regularly and you saw my post, I posted how my husband two weeks ago put our home gym together. Oh, so thankful and grateful. And the other day he ordered my soul cycle bike. I can't wait. I'm so excited about that. Like I'm so motivated again. And every week right now I'm shooting over to NutriShop in Glendora. They're my partner with helping me be accountable to what I'm consuming in my body, right? So that I can take away the negative energy I feel every day. 
So when I was reading this morning and then I was listening to my podcast yesterday, I listened to John Maxwell daily. If you haven't listened to his podcast, I highly encourage you to pick up and listen to his podcast. It makes a huge difference and it's just a character building podcast. Love it, love it, love it. And one of the things that he said is as COVID-19 is with us longer and stronger than ever, right? then we're gonna spend more time building these habits now. So are these habits the habits that you want to take with you, that you want to instill in your children? I'm sure you had no challenges with this during this time. And I did, be really real, really real, really honest, I did. And I'm thankful and grateful that it woke me up. It gave me a new appreciation for the gym. When I get back to the gym, oh my gosh, I'm going to be so excited. I don't know how easy it's going to be for me to get up at 4 a.m. again because I'm having a real challenge doing it right now, I'll be really honest. I love the 4 a.m. hour, right? And I've got to get back to that. So what am I going to do to get back to that? Well, I'm going to go to bed sooner, right? That's what I'm going to do. And I'm going to start consuming, stop consuming the stuff that makes me tired and sluggish. And like, oh, I just don't want to do that, right? I'm going to get my regular sleep in that I need. I need my six hours of sleep. You may need more or less. It's all up to you, right? So I have gotten back up. I'm in my home gym every morning this week. I've been so proud of myself. No, it's not 4 a.m. No, it's not 5 a.m. It's 7 a.m. I'm getting up 7 a.m. Actually, get up at 6, jump in, get ready, knock it out, do my workout, 45 minutes. I feel fantastic. Why? Because I just did something for me personally that made sense. So maybe it's not the gym for you. Maybe it's just reading. Maybe it's writing. Maybe it's this. Maybe it's that. I don't know. Only you know what makes best sense for you. I know what makes sense for me. I need reading time. I need writing time. I need thinking time. I need gym time. And I need work time. And I need family time. That's what I need, right? I need my prayer quiet time, right? And that comes with my thinking and writing. That's when that happens. So they say win the morning, get up earlier than the rest of the family, set the tone for the day, get your energy going. Maybe you just need to get up and smell your coffee. And maybe you love coffee. I love the smell of hot tea during the winter, right? I don't like it any other time of the season. It doesn't make sense for me, but I do love it during the winter. So what gets you up? What gets you excited? Do you think about it before you go to sleep? I do. For sure, I do, right? So then, right, we want to make sure we are aware of what we're focusing on all day, what we're doing all day, what we're up to all day right? You want to be aware of it. So make sure, make sure you got your calendar put together. Make sure you're aware of the day of the week. Oh my gosh, it's so crazy. Like people forget what day of the week it is while we're stuck at home because we don't physically have to be anywhere. So we tend to, I did anyways, forget what day of the week it is. So I look at my calendar every day and I go, okay, what am I up to today, Lori? What appointments do I have today? What do I need to get accomplished, right? And I'm even strategic about when I'm going to do family time, Wednesday nights or date night with the hubby. We'll drive to a special restaurant and go pick it up and bring it home, right? That's our date night right now. I love it. I'm so excited. We put the top down. We get in the car. After our workout, we go get something yummy from one of our favorite work from one of our favorite restaurants what a great date night for us we love it right now it's what we do right maybe it's a saturday morning hike for you right maybe it's a saturday saturday do something anything whatever it is that makes best sense for you and your significant others and other right 
And I say others because I'm even strategic about family time. Now, let me tell you, that one is really hard because all my kids are 16 or older. And so they don't willingly like say, oh, mom, I want to hang out with you. I got to really be creative in bringing them in and saying, oh, okay, what do you want to do? How would you like to hang out? What, what is most interesting to you, right? Whatever it be to bring us together, I need to do it. So I do do it. I'm strategic about that as well, right? I'm very strategic about everything I do in my life. I pay attention to the things. And I used to think, oh my gosh, that's so much planning. Oh my gosh, that's so much work. And then when I don't do it, I go, oh my gosh, where did my day go? What happened? When did that happen? How did I not get anything accomplished today? What feels better? What is greater? Right? For me, what feels best is to know that I knocked out these things and I was intentional with my time and I got some great time with everyone. Right? So... Be grateful and thankful when you're around people, when you're in the home. What you're focused on expands, right? That's a bold law for us in our real estate world. What you focus on expands. So should you focus on the positive things in life or should you focus on the negative things, whatever you choose, you will get. It's your decision, not mine. So I choose to be positive. I choose to look for the things that will bring me the greatest reward. Or as my coach would say to me all the time, write a better story, Lori. Make it so you're the superhero, not the down and out, tired and exhausted person. Not at all, right? So I say also relax your need to please. I love that. Think about that all the time. Who wants to please everyone? Who wants to be so happy? Who is like, oh my gosh, someone knocked on the door. I've got to answer it. Who's that person? Or, oh my gosh, my text just came through. I've got to respond to it, right? Or, oh no, the house is a mess. I must clean it. Which person are you? Are you that person? What's the thing that brings you the greatest stress? Mine is responding to all of my clients in a timely fashion. That one brings me a great, great stress. Like I need to do it, right? And if I don't, I'm like so hard on myself. So what is it for you? Release it. Let it go. Be like, oh, I don't need it. It's not who I am. It's not what I need. It's not what I'm going to do in this moment. I'm going to be present in this moment right now with you. That's what I'm going to do. That's what makes best sense for me, right? I'm not going to let anything distract me from where I am right now because this is where I need to be, not anywhere else, right? So do that for yourself. Release the need to please everyone else. Release the need to make everyone else happy, right? And be present with where you are. So, right? There's just, gosh, there's so many simple things that we need to just take into consideration when we're deciding where our energy is and how we're setting the tone of our home every day. Eric walks in and he'll be like, oh my gosh, the house is such a mess. And I'll be explosive like, oh my gosh, he just personally criticized me. And then guess what? That sets the tone for our evening. It's miserable. Where instead I could choose to say, oh my gosh, it's been a rough day. I know. I am sorry. The house is a disaster area. And let's all get together and make this work. Let's pull it together. Let's make it nice and neat right? One of my biggest, one of my biggest things I do every morning is to make sure the kitchen table's cleared off for him because the kitchen table drives him crazy, right? He wants to see that nice and neat, right? It's just something that he prefers. And if I can make that happen for him, I will do such a thing. Because if that'll make him happy when he comes home, what a simple thing to do. 
What makes your family happy when they come home? Do you know? Are you aware? Or is it all about what makes you happy? Right? There's a balance in that. And so then I'm going to suggest, I'm going to say, let's be aware to take time to just be with me. I do that in the morning. I take 30 minutes to read. I take 30 minutes to do my devotional. I take 30 minutes to build myself up. I think about the things that make best sense for me, that make me feel good, that make me a better person, that expand my mind so that I'm like, wow, that's super cool. Why was I so focused on this when I could have done this? I learned long ago in a book that I read, I loved it. They said, oh, whenever you go into a room, just take a piece of junk or trash out with you and throw it away when you leave. And I do it every single time. Every time I enter a room, I'm like, oh, that's trash. I'll just throw it away. I don't think about who does it belong to or why did they leave it there or how come that happened. Don't tell me. I know. Like, I do do that too. And I don't do it normally, right? Because I keep my focus on, oh, it's one piece of trash. I had a very good friend. I absolutely love and adored her. And every time we would be out and about, I would always be like, oh, my gosh. She's picked up the trash on the ground. When everyone else just steps right over it and pretends like it's not there, she was not that friend. She was the friend that was like, oh, there's some trash. And she took it out with her always. I was like, how do I become that person? And now I have become that person, right? I have found value in that. It makes me feel good. So who you surround yourself with, who you put yourself with matters. The energy that you bring to the table matters. The energy that you bring to your home matters. Think about it. Where are you at? Is it good? Is it negative? Is it kind of heavy? Is it tired? Am I always up and optimistic? Shoot, no way. My energy level goes up and down and up and down. And through all of that, I always, always love. And love is where you want to end your day. Start your day and keep through the day. Are you in love, been loved, touching, feeling Feeling like, oh my gosh, I love you. When things get rough, do you touch someone so that they know they're cared for and loved for? I always do, right? I always do. I always do that. I make sure that if I am feeling stressed, like I just need to be touched and I will settle down. I give my friends and my husband and my kids permission to touch me and say, hey, mom, you're a little stressed. You're a little like up over the top, right? And then when they touch me, I settle down, right? That's for me personally, it works for me. It may not work for you. Try it, see, see how it feels. See what you think. May or may not be your thing, I don't know. But I just know yesterday I got home from a full day of work. I had to show houses all day long and I was about out and about and doing my thing. And by the time I got home, it was seven o'clock at night and I was so hungry and so thankful and grateful that my husband made me dinner, made me a healthy dinner. So thankful, so grateful, right? And so I just cuddled with him and I loved on him. And I was like, oh, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. And he said, no problem. I slaved over the hot stove all day long. Well, I love him because he didn't do it all day long. And yet he sure did for me. So when I got home, it made sense. And I got a healthy meal in and I was able to rest and relax and finish the rest of the work that I had for the evening. Because as a busy realtor, sometimes we come home and we still have more work to do after being out on our appointments with our clients. And so it can get a little exhausting at times. It can definitely. So you need to find that balance. You need to make sure that you do the things that are necessary to bring your energy up so you feel good, strong, 
and powerful because that's what you're going to have happen in your house. Be that person for your family. Give them what they need, right? And when it's a day off, just take a day off. Just tell them all, like, I'm taking a day off. I'm resting. I'm out. I'm down. And I love you all, but I'm taking a day off. And be okay with that. I loved what my dad told me so long ago. I'm a huge person who relies on what daddy says. I am a daddy's girl. And my dad said, stop trying to be super mom. Just be a mom. Be a mom and a wife who loves someone. Be a friend who cares about them. Never going to be perfect. Don't try and reinvent yourself. Just start from this moment forward and move forward. Don't try to become something you're not. Just grow in every moment. So again, right? Win your morning. Get up, make your morning your best morning ever. It sets the tone for the day. And then move into gratitude. It will allow for you to be there easier, better, right? Stronger, right? And then let it all go. Forget about pleasing everyone. Forget about making everyone happy. Just be present in the moment with who you are at that moment and be intentional about your day and who you're spending your day with. And take time to pray, to meditate, to be quiet, to think, to write, to reflect. It will make the difference. And last but not least, be filled with love. Give lots of love. Thanks so much. I'm Lori Alvarez. I love, love helping families do what they need to do, right, when it comes to real estate. I love helping my friends in need when you need a prayer or someone to just talk to, text or call me. I would love to. Love to pray with you. Love to be present with you. Love to cheer you on. I have those people in my life. So let me be that person in your life because it makes a difference for me. When I allow others to support me, like my husband and my sister and my sons, my beautiful daughter in love and all her family and my surrounding family, when they support me, I will only thrive, which will then allow for them to as well. So be that person for someone. Hey, thanks for tuning in. I'm Lori Alvarez. Got anything to say? Want to share some thoughts um, or any suggestions? Comment down below. We appreciate it. We love helping you guys. And again, you can always find me at LoriAlvarez.net and just text or call me at 909-227-4196. I have to run off, show some homes today, do a team meeting, and be a mom and be a great wife. And it's Wednesday night. I got a date night with the gym at home with my hubby and our trainer and then a yummy, healthy dinner. You guys knock it out. Thanks so much.